I would like to begin by thanking His Excellency Foreign Minister Heiko Maas for his exemplary leadership on the very important issue of climate change and security. The most basic responsibility of any government is to protect the safety and security of its citizens. Failure risks social unrest and political unrest. It is now uncontroversial that climate change will make it more difficult to fulfill this basic responsibility by undermining food and water systems, increasing competition over diminishing natural resources, disrupting global supply chains, and displacing communities, just to name a few. Most of these challenges exceed the capacity of any one nation to address alone. Therefore, addressing the security implications of climate change requires a multilateral response. The Pacific Small Island Developing States have proposed six concrete functions for the United Nations on climate and security. One, integrated country and regional risk assessments. Two, preventative diplomacy in situations where climate instability is provoking conflict, such as migration or competition over diminishing natural resources. Three, facilitation of cross-border and regional cooperation around shared vulnerabilities such as food or water security. Four, monitoring of tipping points at the climate and security nexus, such as the collapse of ecosystems critical to human settlements. Five, targeted support in post-conflict situations where vulnerabilities to climate change could escalate tensions. And finally, six, thematic work on essential human systems vulnerable to climate change, such as food production and distribution, freshwater access, internal and cross-border migration, land use and tenure, disaster response and displacement, industrial production and distribution and international finance. We believe these functions are best taken up by a new office of the Special Representative of the Secretary General on Climate and Security. However, we will only succeed in protecting the security of vulnerable countries and communities if our political system shows the courage to make the fundamental changes that the climate crisis requires. Thank you.